Greetings fine walker folks, Sean E. Avery here, the author illustrator of Ducky the Spy and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how the idea for Ducky came around. So I had this, um, this student in my class a few years back, uh, I'm an art teacher at a primary school, she was a year six student and this particular student was just so great at designing characters in her sketchbook, she'd always have all these crazy looking characters. One day I walked past her desk and she was drawing this little guy over here. And uh, I looked at it and I said, who's this guy? And she said, oh, it's Spyduck. And I was like, oh my goodness, is there a story behind Spyduck? And she's like, no, nope, it's just a duck who's a spy. And as she was saying this, I would, all of a sudden it just like, this whole world came into my head of this farm where um, there was this kind of controlling narcissistic boss, a pig who wanted to know everybody's business so of course he had to have an agent on the farm he had to have a, a spy a very cute little spy like this one uh and i immediately imagined this uh ducky the spy character and um the student of mine was uh, very gracious to allow me to use her concept for a spy duck in my own um in my own work and uh yeah just kept on working through the process and then of course came up with the other major character, Donny the Donkey, who's kind of like this goofy, bumbling sidekick who provides distraction for, for Ducky while he does his spying. And it's um, it's got a really muted pastel palette, which was inspired by um, one of the CBCA uh, shortlisted this year, this guy, um, Brenton Turner who did Australia Dawn to Dusk. Um, I love the color palette that he uses in this one. And um, I thought, you know, I would go for a much heavier black line work and then have the muted color pastels to create almost like a vintage looking comic book style. And uh, that's sort of, as you can tell by the cover, I mean, this is just a draft, but yeah, it, I, wanted to, I wanted it to have that real old school comic book vibe like Richie Rich or Casper or, uh, Spooky the Ghost or Wendy the Witch, any of those old school Harvey comics that I used to love reading when I grew up. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'm so, so proud of the way that this book is looking and um, I really hope that uh, kids and uh, bookshops love it too. Thank you so much for listening. You guys have a fabulous day.